I'm Corbett Wall with DV Auction here with your cattle market summary for the week ending December the 6th where you had active trade on calves not enough yearlings true yearlings really to establish a market but uh, a lot of calves moving this last week a lot of big feeding calves calves that are too big really to turn out on anything that'll go right into the feedlot but uh, big heavy movement three times the the sale barn receipts as we saw last week of course we had a holiday week last week and uh, just a lot of cattle moving this week this is traditionally one of your largest uh, calf auction weeks of the whole year uh, it just kind of falls right in there at a good spot uh, it's right after thanksgiving the guys that still own their calves and didn't previously contract them they were wanting to try to get all they could out of that market they were pretty gutty and trying to hold on and squeeze every drop they can out of that market uh, so they're going to wait as long as they can but you know we're starting to get to the point where if you wait any longer we're going to start getting into the Christmas break season and uh, marketing is typically not good uh, during your Christmas break and we want to stay as far away from that as we can you got to get away from Thanksgiving break which we did uh, you want to get your cattle sold uh, and but still be able to keep them at home as long as you can but if you get a big storm which could come any day now but for the most part, most areas, except for the extreme north there, we haven't had any bad storms in cattle country. And so these guys have really paid off for them to keep their markets been coming their way the whole time. And they were able to keep their cattle uh, right up to the end and get everything they could out of that market. You know, there's other reasons people typically market this week. A lot of people just sell the week after Thanksgiving every year. Some people uh, want to defer payment. Uh, until the next year for tax reasons and they don't feel comfortable doing it more than a month out uh, so they can get into December and they're only going to have to uh, let that money sit in the sale barn's hands for, for a little less than a month and uh, some people just uh, want to get rid of all their chores and everything so they can go to Las Vegas for the National Finals Rodeo but whatever the reason had a big week of movement this week and mostly all calves El Reno, uh, OKC West uh, Livestock Market in El Reno, Oklahoma had 8,800 head on a Wednesday there. Joplin this week sold 10,400 head of feeder cattle, uh, counting their Monday regular sale and then the Thursday weanback special. But big sales everywhere, three, 4,000 head was pretty typical at most all of your high volume sales. We would like to uh, welcome Springfield Livestock Marketing Center to DV Auction. They had a good run this week, over 3,000 head. Uh, their markets will now be broadcast over DV Auction. Monday, cows and bulls. Tuesday will be a dairy sale and uh, once a month a special dairy sale with a good offering of Springers almost every month. Wednesdays are feeder cattle auction and they have a lot of specials as advertised. But, uh, you know, this week on the market, we saw that cutoff right there at I-70 like we do a lot of times and because we had so many calves moving it really did pressure the market a little bit but but more so in the southern plains and I you know and I like to use that I-70 as the barrier right there that runs from Denver to Kansas City anywhere south of there really felt the pressure prices were weak to three dollars lower on those big feeding calves now north of I-70 fully firm to five dollars higher uh, and that's mostly all because you see those farmer feeders coming in and they've got a lot of corn they've sold a lot of corn they've got a lot stored up they've got it sitting everywhere they can put it every bin barrel and bucket is plumb full of corn and they're looking for a way to add value to that and so they're probably going to try to feed more cattle by farmer fed than we've seen in a long long time uh, that used to be prevalent you know 20 30 years ago to have a lot of on-farm feeding but uh, we haven't seen that so much because it hasn't been real profitable for for the last 20 years or so but we're seeing a lot of it this year and uh, also we're seeing that uh, price right there right at i-70 that's pretty much your cutoff between where a seven weight steer top quality seven weight steer would bring over 250 dollars a hundred or under 250 dollars a hundred on a seven weight steer right there at that I-70 cutoff. Now your lightweight calves, those weighing under 550 pounds, they were good everywhere, especially in the Southeast and, and anywhere they were available in the Plains states in the Midwest there, selling five to $10 higher. It seems like it's been five to $10 higher almost every week 
Uh, your health is a big concern on those new cattle. Always is in the fall of the year, but now we're starting to get more consistently cool, which really helps on straightening those calves up. They've had some cold weather on them, which has kind of weeded out some of the weak sisters. And also, it's just toughen those cattle up a little bit. Makes them hungry for feed, go to feed quicker. And that's the battle right there, is if you can get those calves eaten, keep their bellies full, keep their rumens working, then they won't get sick on you. But uh, <clears throat> a lot of these guys buying these real light calves, these three and four weight calves, they just want to keep them alive. They don't really care if they put a whole lot of weight on them. Now there's a lot of wheat pasture out there and uh, they're still buying them to go out on wheat pasture. But uh, if they can just hold them, sure they're going to gain a little bit of weight, but they're not real concerned about that. They're going to do it as cheap as they can and just cheapen those cattle up because most people think when spring gets here, early spring gets here, that a 550 pound calf will bring just as much as a 650 pound calf. Everybody's going to be wanting one to turn out on that early grass. So uh, they just want to keep those things alive. It's kind of like a team roper does with a Corianti steer there. It seems like they can keep those things forever and they don't get much over 500 pounds. But uh, your uh, fats this week were lower and these packers, are it's really paying off for them. They've been doing a lot of uh, captive supply over the last several weeks here buying cattle basis the board you know two dollars over the board and for future delivery well they've got a lot of those cattle tied up so they've got their needs needs met we're not seeing a lot of trade we only had enough trade in kansas and nebraska to really quote uh kansas sold five dollars lower at 168 nebraska on a dress basis three dollars lower at 264 and it's just going to be kind of draggy on the fat cattle deal here getting into the holidays late in the year it always is and uh, we've probably seen our top for a good long while here in the fat cattle market uh, your dress beef sales were, were sharply lower late in the week here our US dollar our economy is better our US dollar is stronger which always thinks a good thing but it's harder for people to buy our stuff uh, if their money's not worth as much as ours uh, cows and bulls slightly higher this week your cow and bull buyers already starting to get ready ready for that uh, two-week shutdown of the sales over Christmas and New Year's there and so they're starting to kind of stockpile those cows and bulls so that they can make it through kill all the way through the end of the year and when the runs start back up again but uh, check out our website at dvauction.com uh, you can also find this uh, every week at the stockexchangenews.com and from a home DV, DV auction office here in Maysville, Missouri We'll talk to you next week.